So this is Dr. Boone, the raw eye surgeon, and practicing for over 40 years at Northwestern Pennsylvania and Southwestern New York during my training at, as a senior resident at Greater Baltimore Medical Center in 19, uh, April 1970. I got opportunity to go for the eye surgery to more experience during my training with Dr. Nova Christie at Taxila, Pakistan. This is the area of the Taxila, Pakistan of the uh, high of the patient, our patient, waiting to be seen by Dr. Uh, Christie and other surgeons from uh, India. The patient waiting to go to be seen in the eye clinic. So this is uh, Dr. Christie and his wife. She's a nurse to come to Rude for many, many years as a missionary eye surgeon. Uh, yeah, that's in front of his house which, uh, and uh, during the Easter time they had a, in the they have a dinner for the employee and missionaries helper as a in front of the house. This is me sitting with the Easter dinner with them. The booth is like a the, the dinner in the, in the, near the house. And then the surgery. We have only one OR in the scrubbing area prepared for surgery with helper of the assistants. They have to be I so you have to be done by 10 o'clock because you have only one OR. By 10 o'clock, the general eyes, general surgery have to do some hernia or appendectomy or whatever have to be done. And so we, when we have Dr. Christie during that time, he he be done about 200 to over 250 carrack a day. So we have to start at midnight. So he alternate with the lady eye surgeon with him. But for me, I get up six o'clock every day to do just ten carrack a day, uh, every day. Here's Dr. Christie, standing surgery, take him less than two minutes for carrack surgery at that time, only one stitches, and uh, no implants, as, uh, so it have to be done before the ten o'clock. Another lady, a sur uh, eye surgeon, with alternate surgery with him. So the so now in the weekend I have opportunity to a sightseeing on to see the Buddhist University mu uh, Museum, which is uh, over two hundred uh, two thousand six hundred years ago. See, that's a museum, Taxila Museum, inside a remnant of the. Buddha image in that building, still the same for over 2,000 years. And then it's a replica of the Buddha, the real one took to the, they took to the museum in tax in, in um, Pakistan. So another one of the Buddha, another one. Another one there. So there's a kitchen area on the up, uh, up the, the top of the building. Still the same here for over 2,000 years. That's a that's a layman people. They do the cooking to uh, feed the monks uh, during and Buddha when he visit to UNESCO University. And now the ring sizing with the guy to show me around. On top of the roof, I still get up there. And um, 
beautiful area of, uh, surrounding. I still can see the brick building and the stone building. I still uh, young. I can get up there on the roof. Uh, I can still climb up there on the roof. And a bit of a guy and a friend. Another one. And another one up here in front of the building. And then the outside is still nice area. With the guys and with the bus to take us to see the to see the museum. Now the, the surgery at that time we had to make a large incision. With uh, it take about from and then this time more than uh, uh, ten millimeter incision. You have to put one or two or three stitches. So we have to make a, a caliber to measure how much how big area you want to make incision. A little bleeding, but not the present time. You don't even see it all. During surgery is uh, the old surgery. Now in the later year I. When we come to Carter spot in the present time, we had the uh, implants, which is uh, uh, original implant is not as a present time. It's a little bit larger in, in a bit of plastic. So the, at the present time, when you do surgery, your eyes nice and clear, just like uh, just like this. Uh, you won't have see the blood at all. This is a plastic demonstration for the, the original the implant night since uh, 1970. The, the the top part of the lens is is Dr. Big Horse from Holland who is uh, make the, the implant to be well known in the world and in the America. The bottom part in on the right side is Dr. Choice Styland. The plastic it, uh, this uh, they don't use anymore now because it's too they have a new one bit a little more flexible. On the left side is uh, the Russians look like the Sputnik's uh, uh, lens there that they make by the from the Dr. Fyorov from from uh, Russia. So the and right now we make a little tiny, tiny plastic lens to put inside the eye. They don't use this size of lens anymore. This is uh, a little, they have a better now.